Hello everyone! In this OpenCV and Python tutorial, we explain number one, how to capture video frames from a camera or a web camera and display them as a video on the computer screen. Number two, how to apply a simple filter to a capture video frame and display the filtered video on the computer screen. Over here you can see two versions of the real-time video frames that we are continuously capturing. On left you can see the original video and on the right you can see the video after we apply the Gaussian blur to the captured images. Obviously the right video is completely blurred and you cannot clearly see the titles of the books that stand in the corner of the room. On contrary, on left you can clearly see the titles of the books. Here we deliberately apply the blurring filter. However, you can use the same principle to apply any type of a filter or image processing algorithm or even an object detection or recognition algorithm. But before I start with explanations, I need to mention the following. It took me a significant amount of time, energy and planning to create this completely free video tutorial as well as more than 450 video tutorials that you can find on my YouTube channel. And consequently, I kindly ask you to press the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks a lot! Okay, let's start with explanations. First, we need to import the necessary libraries. In our case, we just need to import OpenCV. We do it like this. Then, we need to create a video capture object. So we need to type camera is equal to cv2 dot video capture. And over here, we need to specify the input argument. The argument can either be the device index if you are taking images from a camera or the file name of the video file if you want to load the video from the file. If only a single camera is connected to your computer, then the index is zero. On the other hand, if you have two cameras and you want to use, for example, the second camera, you will specify one over here. Okay, now let's double check if we are able to open the camera. We do it like this. If camera dot, and then we call this function is opened, then we can print out a message, for example, the camera is successfully open. Okay, and in the case the camera is not open, we need to print a message, for example, print could not open the camera. Okay. Now, connect your camera to the USB port and let's test this code. Good, the camera is successfully open. Perfect, we can continue. Next, let's learn how to read the frames from the camera and display them on the computer screen. We will create a while loop that will read the frames from the camera and display them on the computer screen. So let's type while true and the first line should be the line that will read the frame. To read the frame, we use the function camera.read and this function returns two output values. The first output is a Boolean variable and I will call it success. This variable indicates if or not we are able to read the frame. And the second output is the actual image, that is, I will call this image as a frame. Frame, or the image being returned by camera.read, is actually OpenCV format for images. It's a NumPy array. If we cannot read the frame, we need to break this while loop. Consequently, let's write a simple if loop that will deal with that case. If not success, then we will print the message over here, print, and let's print it out, for example, not able to read the frame, and end, and over here we will break. Okay, 
next let's display the camera image to do that let's do this cv2 dot in show let's give a name to our window let's call it camera video and over here we need to specify the second input argument and the second input argument is actually our image okay perfect this while loop runs continuously and we do not have a way to stop its execution. We would like to somehow stop the while loop. For example, if a user presses a keyboard key C, the while loop should stop. Let us add this functionality to our code. To do that, we need to type the following. If cv2.waitKey with the argument of 1 is equal to the keyboard key C then break and that's it simple as that okay now after this while loop we need to release the camera we do it like this and we need to destroy all the windows that is we need to close the window we do it like this, cv2.destroy all windows. Finally, we are ready to execute the code. So let's select everything and let's start the code. Okay, and here it is. Here is our video. Here's my hand. We are recording this video in real time. Actually, we are not recording, we are just capturing the images and display them on the screen. If I want to stop the code, I will simply click here and press C. And here it is. That's it. Simple as that. Next, let's learn how to add the Gaussian blur to our video and display the blurred video next to the original one. To make this video tutorial as short as possible, I will simply copy and paste the code that we previously wrote and I will modify the code at a few places. Here is the code that we originally wrote. Over here, after we grab a frame, we need to filter that frame or filter the image by applying the Gaussian blur. To apply the Gaussian blur, we use this function, cv2.gaussian blur. The first input of this function is our image. In our case, it's called frame. The second input is a tuple consisting of two entries. The first entry is the Gaussian kernel standard deviation in the x direction. For example, let's specify 23. And here it's very important to specify a node number. Similarly, the second entry of the tuple is the Gaussian kernel standard deviation in the y direction. Again, 23 and this parameter is set to zero. This is the third input argument. This function returns the filtered image. I will call the filtered image as frame2. The next step is to combine frame and frame2 in a single image. We can do it like this. Combined images then equal to numpy dot each stack. Each stack means horizontal stack. Over here I need to specify a tuple. The first entry is the first image and the second entry is the second image. Okay, now since we call the numpy function each stack, we need to go back to the top of the code and we need to import numpy. So we need to type import numpy as np. Okay, and then finally we need to display this image. So let's copy and paste the name of the image and over here we will display instead of frame combined images and that's it. Okay, let's now run this code and let's see the effect. Okay, let's select everything and let's execute the code. Okay, here it is. Looks perfect. Now, you can clearly see over here that the image is blurred. 
This is the effect of applying the Gaussian blur. The Gaussian blur is actually a low-pass spatial filter. For example, over here you cannot read the title of the book. On the other hand, on the left side you can clearly read the title of the book. Okay, that would be all for today. I hope that you liked this video. If you like the videos I'm creating, please press the like and subscribe buttons and see you in the next video tutorial.